Hey guys, it's Danny, and welcome to another video and I'm here with updates on the Atlantic. We have six tropical systems to look at. We have three tropical cyclones as well as three tropical disturbances. But before I go into details, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please do so. We are officially on the road to 1K and you can also tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video. And you can also share to make persons out there know what is taking place and to help the channel grow. All right, let's look at these four first. We have this tropical disturbance. It is given a low 10% chance of formation through the next five days and also a 10% chance through the next 48 hours. And it is expected to move to the west-northwest cross right over us here in Jamaica. So we're expected to get a lot of heavy rainfall from this system come this weekend. And we also have another tropical disturbance, probably a few hundred miles to the east of the lesser Antilles or maybe even over a thousand miles and then this one is given a 30 percent chance of formation through the next five days so we see the potential here for it to become a tropical cyclone and the windward islands especially need to keep an eye on this and then we have this area of disturbed weather the exact area of low pressure as in the location has not yet been identified but of course it is expected to form very soon and this is given a medium 40 percent chance of formation through the next five days so we're seeing a lot of tropical activity right now and let's move on to hurricane jerry so this is the latest updates probably some minutes ago and right now jerry is a category one hurricane with winds of 90 miles per hour probably peaks at a cat two but not expected to arrive at major hurricane status but that is not impossible so fortunately it will spare the caribbean and the bahamas but bermuda might not be so lucky so currently what you're seeing highlighted in yellow is a tropical storm watch in effect for some of the leeward islands including saint martin saint martin saint Barthelemy bermuda as well as anguilla so those areas can expect some tropical storm conditions within the next 48 hours or so and then the hurricane is expected to continue moving to the northwest and then turn out and eventually start to move to the north and then to the northeast so that is where we could see by early next week bermuda being in trouble but again the cone can shift at any time so we just have to keep watching it and see the potentials for jerry and next here we have Hurricane Humberto, currently an extratropical system. We're expected to transit into an extratropical cyclone very, very soon. It is moving very quickly to the northeast at 24 miles per hour, and it has been weakening over the past 12 hours or so, with winds currently at 105 miles per hour, so still a cat two. And of course, weakening is anticipated. No areas are expected to be affected by Humberto, and it, it might dissipate sometime over the weekend. All right, here is a look across the Caribbean and parts of the Atlantic and the Gulf. Here is tropical depression or extra tropical cyclone Imelda currently. A weak system but is going to produce that heavy rainfall across portions of texas and louisiana in the next couple of days rainfall can go up to six inches in some areas and then here is the tropical disturbance look in beautiful right now and strong so it is expected to move like this probably crosses straight over jamaica probably pounds us with some heavy rainfall this weekend and here we have hurricane humberto just starting to show up on the map so a lot of tropical activity taking place right now in the tropics so guys if you found this video pretty informative please leave a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments below or ask a question i will try to respond as soon as i can and so just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep giving updates on the tropics